Well, hello there. Welcome back to Pool Table Talk. We're going to see what the universe wants to tell you. I was instructed somebody has something they want to say. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, spirit, let's get with it. Hope y'all doing okay. A time for healing. I'd like to say to the angels here, please give us the most accurate and present messages available, Spirit. There's a time for healing that needs to take place. What would you like to say, angels? Forgiveness needs to happen. Okay. So we're looking to heal something. A heart. Right? We're going to have to forgive. That's what we're all about here on this healing channel. What would the seven chakras like to say? A grand symphony. Okay, Spirit, let's see what the Moonology has to say. There needs to be a time for healing. Let's say, let's say, let's say. This is the balsamic moon. Healing, soothing. You need to surrender. If we could find the page, the spirit will be on with it. Right. Yeah. Okay. It says, pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past, and the bright and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remind yourself that everything, I'm sorry, rem then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. 
if you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. And it says patience is required at the time of the balsamic moon. It's a time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for the new moon, which is just around the corner. No matter which point in the current moon cycle you have pulled this card, it's a reminder to go a little bit easier on yourself. The time to step into the crep, the I want to say, oh, the creatures, creatrix power will come soon enough. Give yourself the time you need. So, it's time to let go of the past, right? You are about to turn a corner, okay? You need a little bit more time to heal and think about this situation. Um, how would um, things look okay to manifest you need to um, pretend that you're healed already all right and imagine that one is healed and that all are healed let's say What else would you like to say, Spirit, about healing? Okay, the card's getting wild here. My goodness gracious. Okay, Spirit. And you have the Four of Cups. Three of Swords and the World Card. So it's time to heal something that someone was trying to put in that cup right there. Okay, see that? They put some kind of bullshit in that cup. Could you see that? You said, "Oh hell no." I'm not taking that. That's not what I want. Even though I love you, and this is really, really, really going to hurt me just as much as it hurts you and others. But whatever you're trying to give me, in this cup it's so bad right do you see my heart okay you see my heart this is bullshit in this cup bullshit so guess what I am not bullshit I don't feel like our relationship was bullshit but evidently you did Okay, so, a couple of bullshit went bye-bye, adios amigos, okay, I have done the work to myself where I can see what a couple of bullshit is, told you my hands are crossed. Not moving. Not take. Don't care if I really, really, really want this. Okay? Because evidently I want it. But I don't want what's in it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for letting me heal through this bullshit. And 
and we're gonna look at extra angels. She's the angel answers. Forgiveness. Forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you let go of sadness or pain caused by others so you can be free. This card can also refer to a need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you are holding on to regarding past mistakes you may have made. Give yourself credit for having tried your best, even if the results weren't what you would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then that have made you a better person. Didn't I tell you you wasn't taking what they was giving? You need to forgive yourself and get over him or her. All right, spirit, let's see what you're going to say. Oh, the Omega Land deck is calling to me. We're going to say... Forgiveness. So, let's see what Spirit wants to say about forgiveness. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Look at her. Look at all the water. She says, Well, oh, hell, I forgive myself. Look at me. My leg, my, my, I'm on my nice little cot, right? My socks are off. I'm laying on, right, with all of this water surrounding me. This is a wish fulfilled. Look, I got my books, my, my cigarettes. I even got a little protection going on. My toilet paper. Shoot, I got everything I need. Look at stretching my legs out. Right? I'm up off the ground. Shoot. My belly even full. Look at the spoon sitting inside that empty bowl. I even got me some alcohol going on. Look at me. See, I'm being well fed, educated. I even got some uh, leisure going on, right? And I'm also got my little protection in the corner with my butt paper, my pillow, my socks are off. Hmm. I sure forgive myself because I love myself. I might be lonely, but sure got a lot of love around me. What else would you like to say, Spirit? So you're happy. You said, well, I'm happy and content. I may not have that 10th cup, right, for the ultimate share of my life with somebody. I'm alone there. But I made it. I'm happy. And, hmm, I am committed 
to grow and old gracefully by myself. Okay? This is a commitment. And it looks like he's looking up like he's committed to God. Look at his little... He got protection. Told you he got protection. Okay? He got protection. He's got his book under his hand. He said, I'm well guarded. Right? Got a history of this person. Scales. They may not be balanced, but looks like he's working on it. But there's his cut, his bow. He's got shoes on now, looking out. He's well protected. Okay? So he has his wish fulfilled because he's committed to being happy. He sure forgives himself. Right? So you got a commitment with yourself to making yourself happy. So of course, okay, they're telling you do not feed into that shit. Do not feed into that shit. You do not pick up that phone. And dial the fucking number. Okay? This is time for healing. Now we're going to look at a grand symphony. Grand symphony. Books looking at me. It says, <clears throat> as human, be human beings, we have a tendency to see ourselves as separate from others. This perception is the root of a cosmic joke played on us all. Although fi our five senses and intellect can help us manage our experiences in the material world, the intuition tells us navigate the invisible helps us navigate the invisible we still struggle with the issue of of identity and how we fix into the world how we fit into the world you're facing a paradox today you need to focus on being your unique self for only you can bring your own special harmony to the symphony of the world but equally you need to learn to be selfless and put we before me seeing yourself as part of a consciousness that unifies us all. You're being invited to step back and see the bigger picture until your individual part on the world stage disappears and blends with the glory of all life. It's true that who you are and what you do counts in far-reaching ways. Consider this, though. When you listen to music, it's the whole not any single note on its own that makes the song come alive. So today, ask yourself, can you be a part of something bigger? Can you put the principles and needs of the group above your own wants? Can you fully embrace the concept of unity and diversity by celebrating all the notes in the symphony? If so, then you will indeed be wise, and whatever you are dreaming about will be fulfilled beyond your wildest hopes. It's time to do your part, to sing in harmony with others. Stay in tune and learn the new harmonies and notes. Such sweetness will arise. So, wow. Um, I think what they're trying to tell you is um, like they said you you're you are part of the whole see that you are part of this whole cycle okay look at that you in the center okay see your self worth
Now, you kind of removing the bias issue, okay? And seeing how we're all connected, knowing that everything you do has a consequence. That's when unity and consciousness takes over. Okay? It's like the end of division. We're all whole. You need to see everyone in a different light. Everyone has unique flaws. Everyone has their own individuality. Our own separateness. Some people come with bullshit, a couple bullshit, right? It's their life experiences that have made them who they are. It's environmental influences. So if you see that you are a bigger part of it, you always need to take the bigger stance and be committed to yourself. Forgive yourself for seeing what you've seen because Evidently, you've done a lot of work on yourself. Seeing it for what it is, knowing that we're connected and you will always shine your own grand symphony. Acknowledging that everyone has faults. And loving each individual for who they are. Let's look a little deeper into this. <clears throat> so that's what I'm seeing by you seeing it that you are the hierarchy. Okay? With your wisdom and experience and being a leader with a higher hierarchy self awareness and knowledge, right? That comes with it. I think you are seeing that what you do matters. It matters for everyone. On everyone around you, that giving compassion and self-respect to yourself, that everyone in the universe can only benefit from it. young girl she did not jump from this young girl to this older person overnight I think you know that but let's see what spirit wants to Oops, there we go. Page of Swords. So this has um, been a problem for you in the past. But I see in this, this card here, this man, this Page of Swords here, It's almost as if this person is taking notes. Hmm. 
taking notes. Look at him, his top hat on. I think that this might have been a test of the emergency broadcast system by this court because they're saying that this is a unified endeavor and this pain is watching that you receive authenticity, your hierarchy, and it's a wish fulfilled, so you're doing your job. No shit. What a rating. Guys, if this rating resonates with you, please give me that thumbs up. You know what they're calling for? Okay, spirit. We're going to use my uh, married. Uh, goodness, it's been a while. This is my relationships answers deck. Wow. So let's see. What do your spirit guides want to say about this? Hmm. And I feel that the energy is very, um, nothing's, nothing's being put together in your head right now. Wow. So you are, you're aware, but you are unaware. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. Could possibly be dealing with an air sign, or air sign is involved. Air sign could be watching you. Don't know who this is for. Okay, we're getting a fire sign. I want to put that there. Do what's best for you. I'll put that there. Goodness gracious, spirit. You did what's best for you. I think you're the fire sign. And I think that you are a part of this grand symphony of people that's watching. I think maybe because you was all in your head or you got two swords here, okay? Because fire is, I mean, air is swords. Air is mental. So either you had some mental problems with working together in unison. This seems like a whole different maybe they were watching you. Because I want to I want to say this Grand Symphony is part of this this whole scheme of things right here. You have a lot that's around you, okay, 
And you can't let bullshit in your pure circle. You might have children, right? Or four different. Wow. All right, let's see. Um, the bottom of the deck, it says it's done. It's not done and you know it. So they may change their mind by you completing this cycle, standing in your power, forgiving yourself, okay? Because there, there's forgiveness that needs to take place uh, on yourself. This dude, dog, whatever, they broke your heart. But in the grand scheme of things, okay? I think an air sign may be watching all of this. Watching you heal on your own. Watching you heal yourself. And stand up for your beliefs. Alright, let's see. What do our spirit animals want to say? Spirit. Closing out this. I'm going to get you some inspiration, okay? And then we'll be out. Ow, ow, ow. Let's be ready. Let's do this. Mountain goat. All right. If there's something out of balance in your life, do, so do whatever you need to correct it. The mountain goat. So there's something out of balance in your life that needed, you needed to climb that mountain. So do whatever you need to do to correct it. say we can fix this camera. But, all right, here we go. So, right? You should definitely tap a coin card. But maybe you need to take on the, um, the energy of the mountain goat. Okay? And if there is something out of balance in your life, you correct it. or you're going to you're going to correct it out if this if this is if this air sign is watching you giving you problems making things out of balance you might need to correct that but we're going to read what exactly what it has to say because they got a message to tell you You've been feeling unsteady, shaky, or out of sorts lately because there's an imbalance in your life. To bring back balance, start with an appraisal of your physical health. Um, get an exam from doctor. Um, spiritual community, look, we do this ourselves. Okay, it's called quantum healing. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the uh, holistic uh, physicians, stuff like that, um, look down in the description box below, and that's what I do. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, she can do a scan of your body. Start with your toes. Uh, you will notice the vibration starting there. Your feet may start, your toes may start to get cold. Do this while laying down. Scan your body. You will know intuitively. Act like your eyeballs are like laser vision. Okay? And start your toes and scan your body. 
if you feel that there's a point where like I have a lot of problems with my knees and my legs because I'm fat ass anyway sorry um yeah I carry a lot of bottom weight but anyway when I get to that point usually it stops me and I gotta still sit there and scan because you're not only scanning your body you're healing your body at the same time okay you can heal yourself um, it may take you a good 15 20 minutes to work your way up then balance your chakras okay start red work your orange yellow keep going make those colors bright as ever in your vision okay then meditate get your eyeballs make you a invisible shaman standing over your body right invisible and pretend that he is doing some shamanic work on you all right there's something that you need to pay attention to have him your pretend shaman that's standing over you yours and yours alone whatever he looks like do work on your body whatever the specific area is that you feel that you stopped for a minute while you were scanning on have him go back and do some work on you okay that is your higher self your shaman your shaman people don't understand oh how do you see a shaman in your head uh, just I just seen it he's mine okay all right guys so there's no need to be alarmed all right but there if there is something that it is in your body your body's biochemistry okay that is a little off it can easily be corrected um, you'll benefit from this analysis okay so be sure to um, maybe exercise or eat um, good right every day preferably organic if you can get plenty of rest Hi. take some time to continue your assessment by checking out other areas of your life such as the plurality polarities of work play social right stuff uh, given and receiving and any others that occur to you um, it is unrealistic to expect your life to stay completely in balance at all times as it's a continuous interplay between the various polarities even the seasonal adjustments of light and dark slowly and gradually shift in the ceaseless dance in a ceaseless dance notice how you feel when something is out of balance then take the necessary steps right to adjust everything you need to get your equilibrium right all right guys i can help guys if you cannot do this on your own look down in the description box below and there you will find all the information on how to get in touch with me mm -hmm. i love y'all and uh i hope this reason resonates please give me that like button and subscribe to my channel love y'all peace out